this is going to be a little short review uh, maybe not so much a review just a more of a demonstration of a hammock that I got from a, a, my buddy over at uh, Patriot Tactical USA a lot of potential uses for, for a hammock I know a lot of guys have gotten real uh, interested in those as far as using them for backpacking and hiking and camping and even various survival situations. A lot of good benefits to them, a uh, couple of drawbacks to them, but just like anything, there's always going to be pros and cons. So um, thought we'd try this one out and, and see how it does. It's made by Proforce, uh, comes in its own little stuff sack, and the stuff sack is actually attached to the hammock so that when you unpack it, it stays attached to it and you don't lose it. We'll lay this out and uh, get it set up and go through all the, the uh, high points of it, give you a few thoughts on it and uh, let you know what we think. One of the first things that uh, I'll point out to you before we even get it set up, you'll notice that it's uh, in a nice uh, greenish color something other than uh, here I am super signaling red, yellow, blue, orange, pink, or purple or something. It's in a nice darker earth tone color, which is something I personally prefer quite a bit. So anyway, we're going to get this set up and uh, then we'll uh, show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so here we've got the hammock all set up. <clears throat> And as you can see, it's got a built-in bug screen on it. Now this one comes with all the tie-outs and everything that you need. You'll notice up front here, this part is already attached to the hammock. You've got a carabiner that's already on there. And it comes with your tie straps for the tree that's pre-knotted at different intervals so that you can uh, tie them out, you know, however far you, you need it, depending on the distance between the trees or whatever. And you notice I've got it wrapped around quite a few times. So there's plenty of length here to uh, on e each end to, to stretch it out pretty far, if uh, depending on how close your trees are that you've got together. And it also comes with uh, tie outs up top for the uh, bug screen. And you don't have to do it, but, but something I like to do, you'll notice, I just took a couple of sticks and uh, get one that's got a little V at one end and cut you a little notch in the other end. And then just wedge them in there so it's got a little bit of tension on it. And it'll spread the, uh, spread the top of the bug net out. Now, there is your pouch that stays attached to it. That's actually the uh, stuff sack for it. You notice on the inside, on each side, there's two of these little small uh, storage pieces, uh, storage pouches, sorry. Um, fairly compact uh, hammock. This one's really, really lightweight. The material is fairly thin, but it feels really, really strong. Um, uh, plus side for the summer months, uh, it, it lets a really nice amount of air flow through. Uh, I was just laying in it for a few minutes and we've got a little bit of a breeze blowing today and you can really feel the air moving through it, uh, which is good for, for keeping it a little bit cooler. Um, the other thing that I noticed was it uh, doesn't make a lot of noise when you're getting in and out of it and, and it's also easy to get in and out of. The sides come up pretty high, as you can see. Um, when you actually lay down in it, uh, you sink down pretty good. So the, the sides do come up pretty high. You've got a significant amount of headroom uh, in it. Now, obviously, I've got this one not stretched out too far. It, it's dipping a little bit um, just for finding trees that are the right, uh, right distance apart. And I can try repositioning this one and stretch it a little tighter and obviously get it uh, so it's not sagging quite as much in the middle. Um, but, you know, that, that's going to depend on A, personal preference, and B, uh, just your terrain uh, that you find yourself in as far as, uh, you know, 
how you how you set it up the the tree distance and all that which is one of the points that we'll get into in just a minute um, let me show you getting into it real quick and then we'll do a couple other things all right to get into the hammock this one has a dual two-way zipper so you can zip it up uh, either direction you want to go one nice thing is you can unzip it right here and it makes a nice you just use it kind of a little chair if you wanted to set up your cook fire or whatever right in front of you uh, makes a nice nice comfortable spot um, you can even leave it open and just kind of half half lay in it if you wanted to uh, scoot up a little higher and you can actually prop up pretty good in it so very versatile in that regard as far as getting it set up having you just a nice spot to relax take a break we'll zip it back up now and show you inside just for reference I'm uh, I'm about 6'1", 6'2", about 200 pounds, and I don't feel any of the seams or anything um, stretching or stressing or getting tight at all. Uh, and this is actually pretty doggone comfortable in here. Um, I could definitely feel myself dozing off if I, if I stayed here very long, that's for sure. Another thing that uh, I'll point out is inside where the ties are at for the bug net up top, there are also ties on the inside that you can run like some 550 cord through and on the inside have a place to hang like a little uh, reading light, um, hang uh, equipment or tools or whatever, you know, whatever suits your purpose. Uh, anything from you can hang up wet socks in here to dry out or, or, or whatever. Again, good ventilation. It's nice and comfortable. Uh, obviously in the winter time with as thin as it is, you definitely have to make considerations for, for that, but that's where your winter equipment comes into play of having uh, a good sleeping pad, um, a good, uh, something like a good poncho liner, sleeping bag, etc., to give you a little insulation on the bottom. Uh, but I think this is going to be a pretty versatile, uh, versatile hammer. All right, as you can see now, I've got my tarp set up over the, uh, the uh, hammock. And just want to start out by saying, this tarp is not one that I'm going to use with this hammock. This is my emergency solo shelter tarp that I keep in one of my uh, emergency bags. It is not designed for this kind of use. It's designed to be set up as uh, much closer to the ground and for one person as an uh, expedient shelter. I'm just throwing it up here just to demonstrate um, what, you, what you can do with a larger, uh, more appropriate sized uh, tarp. Uh, you can completely cover the, uh, the hammock, uh, give yourself plenty of not only rain protection, but also uh, shade as well, and also cover up enough ground to have dry area underneath it for you know, your backpack and other, other miscellaneous equipment. So again, this isn't the tarp that's going to be used with this. I'm just showing this just as an uh, example. Of, of what you can do. Obviously this is not quite long enough to completely cover uh, the entire hammock and really need to spread the hammock out further between some trees that are further apart. That way you can have a larger tarp over it to extend further over each of the ends to give you better uh, rain protection, especially if it's windy. But again, this is just a little short uh, impromptu video. I'm gonna uh, definitely do a more in-depth one um, after I've gotten a little bit of time in with this particular hammock and have used it and uh, 
I wished I could find somebody that I knew that um, had some sewing capability and could sew up some real nice uh, waterproof uh, tarp shelters, especially some uh, I prefer personally a camouflage pattern like the, the ATAX FG or, or something like that. Um, if I can find somebody that can do that for me, I'm going to look into having a, a tarp made out of, uh, out of that. I think that would give you some uh, good uh, camouflage ability as well, just to kind of keep low profile on things. So anyway, this is just a little, uh, like I said, mini intro. Um, I'll put up some more uh, information about this hammock on, uh, on our forum. So make sure you check that out. And if you're interested in getting one of these hammocks, uh, go to uh, our friends at PatriotTacticalUSA.com and I'll put a, a link up in the in the description, of course. And then, like I said, we'll have more info on our on our web forum about it. So check that uh, for more more details and whatnot. Um, again, this is a Pro Force hammock. So we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. Thanks for checking it out, guys. We'll have more up later.